I, I, I went to art school mm -hmm. um, for a laughably short time, but, but I did, you know, put in some education. And then I went off and I was going to become a very serious painter. And in, you know, when I was doing that, which back in the dark ages, uh, <laughs> it was said that if you were involved with crafts and you were trying to be a fine art painter, mm -hmm. uh, you, you were finished, you know, you mustn't be involved with the crafts. But um, I just started, uh, I learned to knit because I found some beautiful yarns and nobody was paying attention to those yarns. I mean, the most crude things were coming out of Scotland, uh, feral patterns with white backgrounds and things, you know, that commercially, it was not very interesting to me. And I thought they had this beautiful, beautiful palette, the Scots, are real poets of color. And so I had these, this big bag full of yarn that I bought in a mill in Scotland. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to knit on the train coming down from Scotland from some woman who was just sitting there and I just said, you know how to knit? I've got, I got some urgent knitting to do. And she taught me and I just came home and I knitted like a banshee for the next few years. And I just couldn't stop. And my, my painting kind of trailed off as I became more and more fascinated with this craft where you could play with pattern and color and make something practical too. I like that, you know, you can't wear a painting, you know, and you can't put it on the floor like a carpet. So I like things that you can actually use and make them above average, you know, to, to heighten one's existence by putting the magic of color and pattern into your life. Yeah, no, well, I think every everyone, we're all craftspeople and we totally feel that. And I, I mean, I, I feel the arts as well and there's meaning for me to go to an art gallery and I can be moved by a painting. But, but yeah. oftentimes if I buy a painting, put it on the wall, I'll, I'll maybe, you know, I'll notice it a few times a year, I'll stand in front of it. But, but the craft things are kind of sort of really deeply involved in your life, aren't they? Isn't this true? I mean, like a wooden spoon or a beautiful cup <clears throat> that you use every day you will I mean I, I if I I have my favorite cup and I just love it you know and I bowls and plates and so forth um that are they're just lovely objects and they do feed you something I look at your work and think that your craft work is absolutely world class you're absolutely at the top of the field but I don't know do you get quite the same um recognition that um an equivalent artist i would. think respect is the word you're looking for <laughs> <There you go. laughs> yeah i don't i, I mean I, well, saying that i must say i've had many shows in museums really really good museums you know um and that is a recognition isn't it and that is respect i mean that is you know them uh, realizing that, that there's something here. I mean, partly it's because textiles are warm and inviting and when they're colorful and over the top and theatrical <laughs> like mine are, uh, they, they attract people, you know? I mean, people want to get in there and see that stuff. 